What's up guys, my name is Mike, I'm software engineer algorithmic forex trader and currently I live in Thailand as an expat on the Phuket Island. I kindly welcome you to this video where I share my journey on developing a trading software, trading platform from scratch and if you are interested in this or any topics related to algo trading, forex trading, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, we have also a discord group. So if you would like to talk to our community around this channel, feel free to join the Discord group. And anyway, let's see when we stopped last time. In the previous video, I was coding the connection to the exchanges. You know, I had to create a working connection that I can stream market data and send trades. So I started with the MetaTrader 4, MetaTrader 5. For this purpose, I used my old libraries that are handling all the connections through TCP to the exchange, to the broker servers. I coded also a rhythmic connection. And at that point, I needed something to test performance of my software. So what I did, I created a bench trader connection. It was a dummy connection that's only purpose was to produce fake market data on the very, very high intensity. So when I made the first performance check, my software was able to consume 50,000 quotes per second. But after a few changes related to low latency programming, I was able to push the throughput to 15 million quotes per second, which I am very, very proud of. Okay, guys, so yes, I was coding the strategies. So what was the approach when it comes to coding the strategies that I made? The approach was like this. I created the interface for the strategies and the interface had basically a method of uh, run. Yes. So basically each strategy was one class that implements the interface of I strategy or I algo strategy, something like this. And each strategy had a function called run. And basically this function takes as an input new market data and yeah then it will append its state inside this object you know that's why i made the strategy as an object instead of the static class because with static class i will be enabled to update the internal state of the strategy and when i made it as an object i was able to do this but of course when we deal with the objects in the trading platform you need to pay attention that uh, to initialize every single constructor on the creation of this object or even on the application startup because we don't want to allocate any memory that is unnecessary during the runtime so yes i made the strategies and uh, you know for now on i will not disclose the the names and the logic but basically i made some strategies based on uh, the latency arbitrage like one leg, two leg, stuff like this. I think if you're watching my videos, you know how one leg strategy is working and how two leg arbitrage latency strategy is working. So yeah, I coded those strategies. Uh, and you know, I created also the config objects for the DTO purpose. DTO is basically a data transfer object. It's object that stores the configuration. So each algorithmic strategy object that I made was also taking as an input in the constructor or inject the configuration of this uh, strategy. And by configuration, I mean the IDs of the symbols that strategy is going to trade, the ID of the connections, volumes, lot sizes, take profits, stop loss, gaps, and stuff like this. So yeah, it was kind of easy, you know, and I also made a big change compared to my previous software. And what is the big change I made? Let me sit here. Okay, the big change was basically uh, how I handle opening and closing the trades, sending orders. Because, you know, in my previous approaches to creating a trading software, I was opening and closing trades inside the strategy. But now, to increase the throughput, I decided to, to detach the logic related to sending orders, sending trades, opening trades and closing trades. So I decided to detach this model from the trading logic, uh, the algorithmic trading logic, and put it on a separate thread that will only handle opening and closing orders. So in that case, 
I can measure in very very easy way how much time each strategy needs for their calculations. On one thread I had strategies that were you know analyzing market data and producing signals and every single time when I had new signal uh, the strategy was producing a trade uh, value object that was being pushed to another queue and then I had on a separate thread another service that was consuming all the trade requests, all the send order requests and it was actually pushing the orders and handling the confirmation and stuff like this. So this approach allow me to measure the performance of these strategies. And uh, of course I made uh, another strategy called Bench Trade Sender. Bench of course from Benchmark. So the idea of this strategy was again a dummy strategy that's only purpose will be to send orders. So for example if you watch my previous video you may know that uh, on my previous video I was talking about how I created the dummy connection to dummy exchange. That's the only purpose was to create infinite amount of quotes in uh, insane mode when it comes to timing. Just to check the, the throughput of my app. So now I needed to measure the throughput of strategies. So my strategy called Benchmark Trade Sender. So, so the purpose of the strategy was basically to consume the market data, every single market data, and then on every single market data timestamp, it will produce a trade, open uh, a buy order or, or, or sell order. So in that case, I will be able to measure how, how many trades I can submit during the second, let's say. Okay, I hope you get the point. So basically the, 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 the main reason of creating this strategy was to measure the, the throughput and the performance. So yeah, creating these strategies was kind of easier. I mean, of course, I had to create a repository to, to store all my strategies. I had to create access patterns for gRPC to add, delete strategies, uh, turn it on, turn it off stuff like this so yeah it took me quite uh, a lot of i mean i think i spent it one week I, I thought i will do this in two days but it took me one week to to actually code all of those uh, strategy modules but right now i have a good framework so guys we have a gui we have the connection to the metatrader 4 5 rhythmic we have the basic strategies so in the next video, we are going to do something very big and very interesting. So if you're interested, if you enjoy watching me when I share my journey on building the trading platform from scratch, let me know in the comments, hit the like, subscribe and see you in the next video.